Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let's take a look at the new Control Center in macOS Big Sur. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 750 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So let's take a look at one of the most notable new features of macOS Big Sur and that's Control Center. Now Control Center you could find in the menu bar and it replaces a bunch of the menu bar icons or status menus that you normally would see at the top right. Instead of having a bunch of those they are combined now in this one right here called Control Center. If you click on that Control Center is revealed. It looks a lot like Control Center on iOS and performs some of the same functions. So before we had different menu bar items here for things like Wi-Fi, display, sound, but now they're all combined here in one and you can control them just with this one item. So let's take a look at what we've got. We've got here a group that controls network activity. So we have Wi-Fi here, Bluetooth, and AirDrop. Now like a lot of these if you click on them they will go into a deeper menu. So let's click on Wi-Fi here. As you can see it takes me into a new set of controls where I have a button here to turn Wi-Fi on and off. I have my preferred network. I have other networks that I can click on and see a list. And I can go to Network Preferences and System Preferences. Now to go back up I can either click here or I could click just here where there's no control and it will take me back up. Now there's a big button here for Do Not Disturb and I can simply click it quickly to turn on Do Not Disturb. Click it again to turn it off. But there's also a little arrow here that if I click that I go into more controls. So for instance I can turn on Do Not Disturb for a limited amount of time if I want or go right into System Preferences for finer controls. For keyboard brightness it's just a button here. But if I click it it goes down and gives me a bar that I can adjust. Screen mirroring will give me a list of devices that I can mirror my screen to. In this case I have some Apple TVs. Now display brightness is a control that's right here and I can adjust it without digging down deeper into Control Center. But I do have this little arrow here that I could click and now I can go deeper and you can see here I have not only the display brightness but I have dark mode on or off and night shift on or off. The same thing with sound. I've got sound control here and I also have the ability to click here into choosing which device the sound is coming out of. My internal speakers, some AirPlay devices, and a HomePod in my case. And for music I have a set of music playback controls here. Now a lot of these items can actually be made into regular menu bar buttons if you'd rather they be there. And you could do that without even going to System Preferences. For instance if I wanted to add Wi-Fi here I could simply click, drag, and drop and I get a Wi-Fi indicator up there. And I could do that with most of these. For instance Do Not Disturb I can drag up here and now I have a quick Do Not Disturb on or off button. But I also notice that if I click on it I have access to all these other settings. And if you didn't like the idea of having to dig down into the display settings to turn on dark mode or night shift well you don't have to. You could drag display up here and now with this control I can click and have access to dark mode and night shift in one last step. So the same could be done with any one of these. I can bring sound up here. I can bring music up here. But there's another way to access these controls and a little bit more as well. And that is to go to System Preferences and then go to Dock and Menu Bar. And here if you look at the left sidebar you can choose which settings you're looking at. So by default you have Dock and Menu Bar here. Instead of that go down below and you've got Control Center. Click on any one of these and it will show you Control Center here and highlight the item that you have selected. And then you'll have choices here. So for instance for Wi-Fi I have Show in Menu Bar. I can uncheck or check that and you can see it appear or disappear from the menu bar. I don't have the option to remove it from Control Center. Any one of these under the Control Center heading I could go into and show or hide in the menu bar but it's going to stay in Control Center. Now for some of these I have further controls for when it's in the menu bar. So for instance for Do Not Disturb I can have it show in menu bar always or only when active. So only when I turn on Do Not Disturb will it appear in the menu bar and then I can use it to turn it off. For screen mirroring I could do the same thing. I could have it shown in the menu bar but only when active. And if I scroll down here same thing with sound. So only when sound is playing I could have it in the menu bar if I want or have it there always. And now playing as well. Now under Other Modules you've got some other things here. Accessibility Shortcuts isn't in Control Center 
but I could add it by checking here. And it's just a button. I could also have it in the menu bar. I could do the same thing for battery. I could have that in the menu bar or in the control center as well. And I can choose whether or not percentage is shown in that button too. And fast user switching, I can have that in either the menu bar, control center, or both. And then there are a few items here like clock, spotlight, Siri, and time machine that I could decide whether or not they're in the menu bar, but there is no place for them in Control Center. So now that I've added these three, if I go to Control Center here, I could see them at the bottom just as simple buttons. But since I did select to have the percentage here for the battery, it shows me that. So the battery control at least has some information in it. And if I click on it, it will take me deeper down here and show me some more information. If I click on Fast User Switching, it takes me into Fast User Switching Controls. And if I click on Accessibility, it gives me the accessibility shortcuts. Now I know I'm going to be asked about keyboard shortcuts. Is there a way to have a keyboard shortcut bring up Control Center? And the answer is no. Which kind of makes sense because even if you had a keyboard shortcut bring this up, all these controls here use the cursor. So you need to use your mouse or trackpad and click on things. So it doesn't really help to bring it up with a keyboard shortcut if you need to use your mouse or trackpad to do anything with it at all. So that's a look at Control Center and Mac OS Big Sur. Since this is a completely new feature, it's going to take some time to get used to it. So now that you've upgraded to Big Sur, it's worth it to spend a few minutes playing around with it and try to use it as much as you can over the first few days until it becomes natural to access those controls there. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.